literally yeah, it's just like purring as I move this over here there I am camera's maybe a bit low I'm all the way back here I'm normally close up oh dear hello I'm basically this bitch again <laughs> although I don't always call her her, like I keep saying, although this bitch, <laughs> when she's got her hair like that, and this dress on, I've got a kind of pose, it's just, there's a certain look I can do, and I sent a picture to 3G and said, that just looks like a Nikki, <laughs> and she started calling me Nikki, and I was like, I don't mind it, I don't mind it, she wants to call my she, <laughs> sorry, Nikki. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be known as that though. I'm Mikey. I'm still Mikey. I'm a bloke. I do girliness blokishly. <laughs> Someone called me woman man earlier. Um, I don't know her particularly well, but I don't know if she might have seen probably one of my last videos. I hope so. I hope that's why she called me woman man. I didn't know if she was using a subtext because I never understand subtexts. Is, and that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> wow, what a segue. What a great piece of segueing, Mikey. Thanks, Mikey. Um, yeah, the boring group. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's a strange place. I'm quite well liked on there by quite a few people, so I'm going to keep writing on there. It's nice. I've got like a writing voice. It's me, but it's not me. It's my humour. It's me being dry. It's dry me. Um, but I'm using like my creativity, my creative, so I can't think of that word, <laughs> my creative side to write. I'm writing slightly bizarrely, it's sort of similar to Bill Bryson, I guess I write. I, I, you know, I have strange little turns of phrase and the way I present things. And I fuck around with my grammar, with my paragraphs and I refer to myself as I'm writing and stuff and like I, I, I signpost things from here to there and then um, to tell people to ignore that paragraph and all that sort of shit. Um, it's not that well liked. I've, I've got hate on every post pretty much so far. It's fucking weird on there. There's a lot of nice people, but there's a lot of dicks. There's a lot of dicks. Literally, like that weary kind of, oh, cool story, bro, that kind of shit. I just think, what personality is there behind those comments? There's loads of people being cruel and going, <laughs> oh, what the hell? Well, one of the ones on my, my knickers post. I was going to say, oh, for God's sake, it's only material. It's like, if you look at it like that, yeah. And you, make, you can make it sound stupid if you talk about it in an infantile and fucking derogatory way. Yeah. That's not arguing, though. That's just putting somebody else down. That's not making a point. That's not making a point. That's just being snotty. <laughs> um... Anyway, what it was, was I put a post up, I think it was a couple of days ago now. It's weird, I did think to myself, no, it's been a couple of days ago, I should be able to talk about it and make sense. <laughs> so here we go. Because <laughs> it, it was quite just, oh, for God's sake, again. Now, what was it? It was, I'd need to remember it, because there was two of them, and it was on the same fucking thread, and it was on one of them, I think one of them was from that day's post and one was from the day before and um no no they're on the same post but it was two different conversations and one of them was the same lady she'd commented but then she joined in on another comment so that was it so a bloke had just written this really fucking sexist post it was like trying to look really cool and he's gone my missus is giving me a hand job while i'm writing this and she doesn't even know it's like you fucking penis you fucking penis so I wrote something, not snotty, snotty, like, me. Yeah, I just I just called him out on it. Loads of people were abusing him. Loads were. Loads of women were fucking abusing him. <laughs> and the moderator said they left it up there so he would get abused because he was being a dick. And it's like, well, that's your punishment. We're not taking it down. And like, I don't think he can. <laughs> so I just left it up there so he could get all the ridicule. Um, and I was just, I'm baffled of what you were thinking. What were you thinking? Do you think everyone's 14? That's what I asked him. Do you think everyone's 14? What the fuck? 
are you telling us that for? Basically, what did you think was going to happen? Why are you surprised? <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm thinking. Is why are you surprised that this is happening? You are getting <laughs> totally slated, and no one's doing anything about it. <laughs> um, and then someone put, actually, I'm proud of him. And I hit that kind of. Eh. I didn't know, so I just was honest, and I said I don't know. And it's one of those where I kind of made it sound like a joke, but I wasn't joking. I said, if I don't ask you, I'll be up for the next three days trying to stop myself trying to figure it out. <laughs> and a few people put like a laughing face to it. And I was like, mm, I wasn't really joking, but <laughs> that's the thing. I wasn't. It was like I just didn't fucking know what he meant. Was he, and I said, are you being sarcastic or are you sticking up for him? I, honestly, I said, I'm schizotypal. I don't understand things a lot. Sorry. Can you just tell me? And he didn't. And then that started another conversation. So I'd commented on a few things and I'd replied, a few people have replied to me as well. My comment got about like 12 or 13 likes as well from people. Um, Cause it wasn't, it wasn't childish and nasty and abusive. It was just, I was literally just talking to him saying like, dude, what the fuck? Basically. <laughs> um, but then I said, if it's trolling, which I think it is, then it's a bit fucking lackluster. What's that? Was trolling supposed to enrage people? We just made them fucking give them an eye roll of something they'd really rather not read. That's not trolling. Do it right. You're not doing it properly. <laughs> it's supposed to make people fucking mad if you troll them. <laughs> that's fucking, that's lower league, mate. That's boring. Um, but uh, someone else just put, I bet you get all the girls. But it was to my name. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You bet I get all the girls, what the fuck? And I told just said, um, and that was it. Two other two other women spoke up for, um, and mentioned him and said, I don't know what he was on about. I was like, at least I'm okay to be confused. Because it was literally while I was talking about being schizotypal and not understanding meaning, it fucking happened again on the same fucking thread. And like that, it, that's what made me despair. That's what I said to the bloke. The bloke had originally asked, what do you mean by that? And all he had to say was, all he had to say was just be nice about it. If he was a nice guy, and I I know that I've done this sort of thing before, and I would get a reply, just, just not to worry, buddy, no problem, we all do it, something like that. I was joking, bud. Thumbs up. Simple. That's all he needed to be. And he, he just put, no, I'm going to let you figure it out. And again, I'm like, is that supposed to be a joke? Because there's no smileys. So, he's, you know, the other people that thought it was a joke about me figuring it out, and he's just like, oh, I'm going to lose. I thought, no, it's just this world. It's what it's like all over the internet. English people just say something cruel, and like, huh, no, what are you going to do about it? That sort of shit. It's fucking everywhere. It's fucking everywhere. And now loads of them have got loads of different reasons not to like each other. A hook to hang it on, basically. I'm like quite concerned being around this many angry fucking humans. I've just realised my speckled package is showing. <laughs> my speckled package. <laughs> Look at my bum instead. Oh yeah, it's a proper bum shot now. <laughs> Love it. I am exhibitionalistical as ever. I am. I bought more bikini today. Another bikini. It's fucking annoying. I put a fourteen on, and it was it was too big. So I bought a twelve, and it's squashing my cock. It makes him smell. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Um, I'm a, I'm a clear twelve to fourteen. It depends on the cut. It depends on like even the patterns, like shorts. Some of them are really baggy on me at fourteen, and some of them are really nice. And some of the 12s are impossible and some of them are really like proper comfortable to the point where after going up to 14s and then start thinking actually am i definitely a 12. but it does depend because these brazilians they're perfect in a 14 and they make your ass look hot <laughs> i can do it like a little sex kid <laughs> that's actually quite concerning <laughs> i have seen girls like this on the front of porn max with the hair exactly like this and a coat like this with a bow like this 
This is the kind of girl I would be, a fucking porn star girl, or a wannabe porn star. But I still don't like feel any more female, but maybe that's just because I'm female anyway, and I just feel normal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of thinking like maybe she's just getting loud because she's been told that she wasn't real for so much of my life. She was like denied or called something else or called weak or silly or disgusting or unpopular or the reason everyone hated me and all that. They're all like what ended up being this, my female, my femality. <laughs> um, and so she, now she's like, I'm alive. I can live, I can exist. I want sparkly nails. My hair done. I want to wear makeup. <laughs> I want to be able to smile at nice things without being called a fucking pussy. <laughs> and people be fucking horrible to me when I'm nice about shit. People look down on me when I'm nice about shit. When I'm just doing girly nice shit. Like I naturally do. <laughs> so I mean. So many of my exes. So many of my exes. Possibly wouldn't have gone out with me in the first place, <laughs> but would have interpreted me so very fucking differently if they knew how much of me was girl. Because when I was being a girl, I was being a fucking pussy. If they'd have known I was a girl, they'd have been thinking, oh, that's just him being a girl. <laughs> see what I mean? I see what I mean. I totally see what I mean. <laughs> I totally see what I fucking mean, darling. Oh, this side of me hasn't come out. For a while, like not the girly side, like my my silly voiceable side, um, and my livelier side, but like, fuck me, it's fucking daily. If I work, if I go to work, if I'm in a van, if I work in a van, if I go to work in a work van, <laughs> I am the loudest, fucking most annoying, chattiest, fucking craziest fucker ever. Well, not ever. I've met madder cunts than me. I've met much fucking madder cunts than me. Actually, total fucking hooligans. When, uh, when army boys talk about how nuts it is in the army, I just think, it's no fucking different, mate, on building sites. It's no fucking different, I fucking promise you. I fucking promise you. <laughs> in actual fact, you've got people to come and tell you to fucking shut up, and you all do. <laughs> we haven't. Not a lot of the time. Not a lot of the time we haven't. Fucking animals, mate. You can only go so far in terms of animal. <laughs> and I've heard just the same fucking stories on building sites as about the army. Um... In terms of just filthy raucousness and de debauchery and all that sort of shit, it's just the same fucking, it's exactly the same environment. Um, and I, th I thrive in it, darling. I fucking do. I love it. I love it. I always loved it from when I was a kid, from when I was st like still a little teenager, sitting in a bank, and everyone's all well to do in their fucking suits and shirts and ties. <laughs> Very nice. Charming and smart, well to do. And I'd be there with my fucking grubby boots and ripped jeans and shit. And like, um, just, yeah, enjoying standing out, buzzing off how filthy I was in that clean environment. <laughs> I didn't fucking care. Knowing that the people probably going, traipse fucking mud all over the carpet. Because that's how people would treat me. That's how humans used to treat me. I worked for posh people when I was a builder for quite a long time. Very, very posh very, very rich people all over fucking um like oxfordshire and buckinghamshire and places like that fucking north harrow <laughs> chelsea fulham all of them sort of places and some of them fucking how they thought you were vermin <laughs> thought you were scum they did not want you in their house near their fine carpets. Shit, <laughs> seriously. Seriously. Some fucking vile attitudes towards human beings when I was a builder. <laughs> Just by being a builder. Stereotypes everywhere. Once you're a fucking stereotype, you have a label, you fit the fucking label. Um, my goodness, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Um, there might be a sequel to this because I'm feeling quite rambunctious. Um, I don't even know what to call this, but I'm going to shut up.